Hi guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today to share with you my February favourites. I know I'm a little bit late doing this, but I have had a crazy hectic week. I was away all last week. Um, the last week of February I was away at a conference all week, so I didn't have a chance to film. Then I've sort of been catching up, and I'm also off to America on Thursday for a week, so I just sort of want to get a few um, videos in before I go so I can upload them while I'm away. So I'm just going to get into it. There's a few things. There's a really random mixture here this month. And random item number one is this Colgate Optic White Toothpaste. Um, I have been loving this. I have tried other whitening toothpaste before and I don't really think they do anything and it just annoys me. But this one's actually really good. It tastes a bit... I don't know, it tastes a bit like chemically really? different taste. It takes a while to get used to. But I've been finding, I've been using this um, every, like, tw you know, twice a day, and I found that it is actually keeping my teeth whiter. So I'm really look, I really love this one. Uh, as far as toothpaste go, that is one of my favorite toothpaste, and I'll certainly be getting that one again. The next thing that I've been using so much this month is my, um, my Dermalogica Micro Daily Foliant, Microfoliant, Daily Microfoliant, whatever it's called. Um, it is. Where's the label? There's, there it is. I actually ran out of this yesterday and I used a different exfoliant on my face this morning and it's not the same. It's really not. So I'm actually... I'm going to have to go out this afternoon and buy a, a full size one of these because I have become addicted to this. I cannot live without it. This is the best exfoliant I have ever used. I really dry to dehydrated skin and I actually exfoliate my face every day because I just I find that I need it and this stuff is awesome. It is the best exfoliant in the entire world so if you haven't tried it go out and give it a go. Um, and I know Dermalog Dermalogic have actually just dropped their prices in Australia which is fantastic. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm going over to America on Thursday. In in America, it is still a little bit cheaper, but I honestly don't think I can last until Thursday or well, Friday morning till I get there to buy one. So I think I'm going to have to um, just suck it up and buy one in Australia. And I might just buy one over there as a backup anyway, but it is awesome and I love it. The products I've got here, I've been really using my Makeup Forever HD foundation this month. It is awesome. I, I've sort of gone away from it. I don't even know why. I've sort of was on MAC Face and Body for a long time and then I went to NARS She Glow Foundation which is awesome but I just found this month I've been using the uh, Makeup Forever HD Foundation and I've been loving it. I think it's because I went into the Sun, um, I went to Soundwave Festival, I went to the Sun and I actually got, a, I don't know if you can really see my shoulders, you can see the tan line, but I actually got a few shades darker so again my She Glow is just that little bit lighter, too light for me at the moment but this foundation is awesome. I've got like three or four darker shades. I sort of just mix and match to match, match my complexion for the time, but it's amazing. Sort of a semi-matte finish, um, but it goes on really well. Fantastic for photographs, and I've mentioned it in a lot of my favourites before, but I just sort of have been trying other foundations, but I've been coming back to this one in February, and it's awesome. And I'm also pairing that up with my Makeup Forever matte super matte loose powder it's just like a translucent uh, setting powder because my skin is really dry i don't like using a um, pressed powder oh sorry the little puppy over there is crying he's so cute anyway um i don't like using a pressed powder for setting my foundation because i just find because my skin is dry the pressed powder can accentuate the dryness in my skin and i just prefer a light dusting of a translucent powder just to set it Again, I don't do it all over my face. I quite often just put it in my T-zone area, and I just find that those two work really well together. So I've been using that. So for um, contouring, I've actually come across this Sleek Contour Kit. It is a little compact like this, and in here you've got a contour and a highlighter. I have done a full review. I'll link to that blog post in the description bar if you wanted to go and have a look at that. This is awesome. Um, these are the shades. You've got a matte uh, contour color, and then you've got like a semi-shimmery sort of highlight color, but it's not too shimmery, which is really good because I don't really like a lot of overly shimmery highlighter products. If I want a shimmery look then sure I'll go for that but for an everyday look I sort of would prefer a colour like this. This is fantastic. It is awesome and I'm so glad I found this. I've been looking for a contour sort of kit, a highlight and contour kit for so long and I got this one recently and I love it and I pretty much use it every single day. To use that, I've actually been using, excuse me, it's dirty, I used it this morning, my Ray Morris Number 1 Deluxe Kabuki Brush. I find this is awesome for contouring. Because it is also tapered, it actually, not only does it sort of apply it really well, but because as it's tapered, it blends it really well also. So I just sort of put it in there, in the hot, like just under my cheekbone, and it just applies it and blends at the same time. Super quick, super e easy, and it's just awesome. It is so soft. I do love my Ray Morris brushes. And a face primer this month. I've actually been using my MAC Prep and Prime. I think I actually almost finished with this. And I'm really liking it. It's actually got a really sort of 
hint of a shimmer to it, um, which some people might not like, but I think it just sort of gives a really sort of under glow from underneath your foundation. It really helps brighten up my face and I just, I really like it. It also helps my foundation stay on a lot longer and it's just a really good primer. So if you haven't tried this one, I really recommend that one as well. Sort of like the um, L'Oreal Lumi Magic um, primer. It's got like a lighting, lightening effect in it. Um, it sort of reminds me of that one, but I prefer this one a bit. And yeah, it's just really nice. It helps your foundation stay on longer. It sort of minimizes your pores and it just, I find when I use a primer you don't use as much foundation um, which is another good thing as well so I've been loving that. And for nails I have come across the Sesh Beat nail polish um, everyone uses this I have it's taken me a long time to get it actually and it wasn't because it wasn't until I saw the Crush Cosmetics had a 20% on um, sale online recently that I picked it up and I have loved this stuff this is my new favorite top coat in the entire world it for me, like my nail polish, when I put on my nail polish, it sort of goes on and stays on for about 24 hours with it before it chips. And, you know, that's just what it does. I've tried, that's with base coat and polish and top coat, and it just chips. No, no matter what I do, I cannot get more than 30 hours, maybe 30 hours out of a nail polish, but after that it just starts chipping. This stuff, I um, put this on as a top coat, and my nails were on for four days without chipping. Four days of nail polish without chipping. I was amazed that it worked so well, I really was, and so this is my absolute new all-time favourite, and I've got a blog post um, that I'll probably post tomorrow, so um, I'll put a link to my blog below, so go and check out that, you can read other reviews and stuff, but it is the best nail polish top coat in the entire world, I love it. Um, so, lip product that I've been using, I've been using my OCC Lip Tart, and this is in the colour Psycho, uh, it is a really sort of bright corally red colour I would probably describe it as. I'll just swatch it on the back of my hand for you. So it came out of a collection recently. The name of that collection has completely slipped my mind. There is Psycho Black Dahlia. Um, there's a five or six shades in it. I can't remember. I've got them all. whole video coming up to show you all the colours that came in this collection. It's sort of like an autumn winter collection. No. But that's the colour there. It's sort of like a orangey red colour but it's sort of like, a, it's it's gorgeous. I don't know if the um, camera is really showing up. I will put blo um, pictures of this on my blog again. Go check it out. And I've um, been using this one a lot. It has been sort of my go-to lip colour for the last month. So that's that. And finally my eye product of the month, um, my Naked Palette. I'm yet to find an eyeshadow palette that will top this one. I mean, this one has got everything you need. It's I've, I've mentioned it before. So it's in so many people's favourites for the month. I have been using it so much. I went out last night. I put it on. You can do so many, so many looks with this. It's amazing. I like the colour tones. I'm sort of tossing up whether I do want to get the Naked Two palette because. I guess they're the sort of like the cooler tones. These ones are the more warmer tones in like the golds and the bronzes and stuff which sort of suit my skin colouring a lot more. But it is just, it is the best palette. It really is. If you haven't got the Naked palette, go to onbeautybay.com and get it. It is $50. It is worth it. It really is. So yes, they are my February favourites. Oh, one more thing. My last favourite of the month is my new little puppy. This is Hugo. He is a little French bulldog. He's a little boy. We got him two weeks ago and he is gorgeous. He loves people. He's adorable. He's so friendly. He, you know, I just sort of sit down. He just wants to come and sleep on your lap. And he's my little baby boy. Hi. Did you say hi? Hi. He's so cute. So yeah. Hugo has been welcome to our family. We have got five puppies still. They're ready to go to their new homes in... When I, the weekend I get back from America, so I'm not going to see them for a week, and then they're going to go to their new home, so I'm sort of a bit sad about that, but it's been so fun having them, they're gorgeous, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to see all their photos, um, and yeah, that's it, so, oh, he's asleep on my lap now, how cute, so that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed that, if you do videos, leave your February favourites as a video response, if you've tried any of these products let me know, or if you'd like a review on any of them that I haven't done a review on, also leave that in the comment part below and I'll be more than happy to do that for you, um, and yeah, go and uh, I'll put a link below to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, blog, anything like that, if you want to go and follow me you can do that as well, Instagram's got a bit more sort of like personal things, like you'll have makeup and you'll have like, you know, the dogs and the cats and the kids and all that kind of stuff, so you that way you can sort of know a bit more about me personally. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that and I will talk to you soon. Bye.
Shoogie, shoogie. We should just go and say hello again. Shoogie. Who's that? Say hi. 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 Oh, he's so cute. Bye.